Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck. I was featured in a BBC documentary. Actually, it was a reality TV show called The World's Strictest Parents. And in this reaction video, I'm gonna be talking about teaching kids to never give up. reaction video we are going to see James and Hannah the two British 17 year old teens who were brought to my home to stay for eight days at an experiential learning activity with the homeschool youth in my area so my family homeschools and we have certain classes and cooperatives of people to get together to learn certain things well this was a big kind of a youth conference field day activity for all of the youth ages 12 to 18 who were part of our homeschool community. And the whole point of this whole day was for them to dig deep inside and overcome some personal challenges, to work together, and to see that they could accomplish more than they really thought they could in the first place. So let's see what happens when James and Hannah are part of this kind of activity that they've never had before. Okay, here we go. Nicoline has arranged for James to attend a local homeschool get-together. She wants him to experience positive peer pressure. So everyone's got a team! Today's activities are all about confidence building and teamwork. Nicoline's sister, Janelle, is in charge. Everyone get a hold of your rope and then I'll give you the first clue! Ready? Yeah! Music, music. Here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Talk to your team. Guys, guys, okay. okay. What? Fucking stress me out! Can't be bothered with it. James's feelings of failure at school quickly resurface. I'm not doing it anymore. Simple as I can let him down. I'm not doing it. You can laugh at me all you want. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just trying to figure out that that what's really making you frustrated. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, we start, it's very exciting. James and Hannah are excited. You see my sister there, Janelle, in the black shirt, and she is really leading this whole experiential activity. So we arranged for her to come before we ever knew we'd be on this program. It, it kind of turned out to be a fun activity for the program because we really got to see some of the deeper layers of what was going on inside of James because of this activity. But anyway, she was, at the time, a recreational therapist and she worked for some troubled youth facilities and she would go and do rec therapy for them where she would help them overcome hard things. So the fact that James is going out of control here and he's choosing to give up does not throw her at all. So you gotta know that about my sister. She's like, nope, I'll handle it. I'll talk to him about it. That's not going to be an issue. So the reason James is having such a hard time is because there was one thing he couldn't do. So he did some great things. They had to eat baby food. I'm talking the gross kind of baby food, like smashed up beans and peas and stuff like that that you would never want to eat. And he did it heroically. He downed that stuff. He was doing so many great things and he was getting all of this praise because he was doing so well. So he was feeling big and strong. We got to this other activity where they had to go up over this line that was strung between two trees and they couldn't touch it there was like bells hanging from it or something like that if I remember correctly and you couldn't touch it or ring the bells and he was like I can do it and he tried it but he failed and then he tried it one more time and then he failed and then he was like that's it I am done I hate this this kind of stuff is not good there's a clue in here to James's personality so there's lots of different personalities out there and potentially James has the type of personality that if he can't be perfect at something at first he doesn't want to try it Maybe a lot of things came easy for him when he was younger and then he is not now accustomed to doing things that are harder or outside of his comfort zone. So he's got to cross over that barrier within himself. And we're going to see now how Janelle helps him decide that he can do that, that he can come back to the activities even though he doesn't want to. And he really does miss a lot of them. Even though Hannah just carried on, she seemed to be fine in this circumstance. So she was showing that she didn't have to be the best. She could just go with the flow and a lot of times she found herself being a little bit more passively watching but she also engaged and did a lot of brave things as well so it turned out to be a fun day for the both of them in the end but this is the moment when it didn't seem very fun walking I can't be bothered I can let it seem down I don't care Ninja. 
I just want to talk to you for a minute. No, because you're not going to understand. There's no point in talking. Okay, well, how about this? When things get really hard at home, what do you do? I get stressed out. And then what happens? What do you do? I have a cigarette. Okay. Anything else? So that's his go-to. When life gets stressed, he goes to a chemical alteration to a cigarette. So right now, he's not smoking. This is huge for him. In fact, I think if people could just realize these kids are going through withdrawals, especially James. He was a much more frequent smoker than Hannah was. He would smoke all the time, multiple packs a day. He had been smoking since he was eight years old. So he is not smoking right now, and he actually wants to not smoke. This is huge. So if if you saw the reaction video about teaching children to work hard that I also did, you'll see that they went to this ranch and they worked all day. What people don't know is that James decided I'm not going to smoke that day and I'm going to see if I even pray maybe that I won't have that craving to smoke anymore. And he at the end of that day went, this was so great. I didn't have the craving to smoke at all. So he went for a whole day already with no cigarettes. That was huge. Huge. And the day before it was minimal cigarettes because I knew they were going to struggle and we had to kind of help them maybe wean off a little bit if we were going to even have a chance at all at trying to make a break for a little bit of this no smoking. Well, so now we're at this next day and day three and they're okay. Everything's fine. They're excited. They're not going to smoke and all of this, but then he gets stressed and what's his go-to? A cigarette and he doesn't have a cigarette and we are far from home where there would be any cigarettes to have. And so now he does doesn't know how to handle his problem without the cigarette. So Janelle now is going to teach him how to handle his problem without a cigarette. She's going to do a little bit of cognitive behavioral therapy with him where she helps him see there are other options in his head, things that he can choose to change his mind. And this is something that we've been working on at home as well. So what she's teaching him dovetails really nicely into the things that we've already been learning at our house. If you want to learn things about what we do at our house, there is a way you can learn them. You can go to teachingselfgovernment.com and learn all the skills and things that we do to help children learn self-mastery. Even though Janelle doesn't work for Teaching Self-Government, which is the company where I teach parenting, her skills are definitely complementary to what we teach parents at Teaching Self-Government. In fact, she does a great job here. I'm just so proud of my sister. She's such an amazingly strong woman and she is focused on what the truth is. She loves people and you see see her taking the time right now. She could have brushed him off and cared about the other children, but instead she said they're doing okay and I'm going to leave them in Nicolene's care, somebody else's care. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to go talk to this one that's struggling and I'm going to see if I can help him. It shows her heart and her commitment to truly helping other people. She's amazing. She absolutely is one of my favorite people. So let's see what happens as she helps him through this. When things get really hard at home, what do you do? I get stressed out. And then what happens? What do you do? I have a cigarette. Okay. Anything else? No. Do you give up? Yes. Where does it get you? I'm a failure. I'm, I give up on everything, so... You're I'm not, not a failure. You don't know me, so how can you say that or not? I don't know why I feel like a failure them times, because I failed school. I failed at college where I've just been to. My mum's never had faith in me about anything. I only always give up. I hate failing at things because it just makes me feel shit about myself. I'm disappointed in myself. I want to apologise for how I spoke to you and how I behaved. I was really stressed out and I didn't feel very well. Well, thanks, I appreciate it. Would you be willing to continue on with the race? Because your team said, we can't go on because James isn't here, should we go get him? And so they re like they care about you, they want you to succeed, they want you to be a part of their success. When you overcome these hard challenges, you feel good about yourself, you know, because you know that you can, whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Yeah, I'll come yeah? And join in. All right, let's go. Just right back here. This is your team right here. So. Work with them, talk to them, see what they're doing. They definitely need your help because they've been working on it. I want to give you hard for coming back. Because it's hard, and I know it's hard to do stuff like this, but it is so courageous and brave to come back and face it yeah. and do more stuff. That's awesome. They need you. Go for it. Yeah.
So what you're doing? Somehow we're supposed to try to get out of the It's ridiculous. People stand on the bottom so they stay in play. Oh, they won't see. Yeah. The only thing that's going to break is the wood, OK? It's going to break. No, it's not. It's not going to break. Janelle believes that success should always be rewarded. Everyone is given a bracelet to remind them of their achievement. What does this rope mean to you? To never give up and to keep on trying no matter how stressful it is, to just keep on going. Good. That's awesome. I'm glad you learned that. Professor Cole's won that? That's great. Okay, so to me that's an emotional moment. My sister always wants to make sure that everybody's learning a lesson. I'm the same. We're kind of like two peas in a pod like that. But he was able to say, I have to never give up. I'm going to wear this bracelet and I'm going to remember, never give up. And when I see what James did when he left our home and when he went back to England, that's exactly what he did. He never gave up. He stopped so many of his bad behaviors. He stopped his dependency on so many chemicals, stopped the drugs and all the smoking, and he went back to school, and he got his degree, and he started going in the direction that he had planned to go instead of getting stuck. He truly never gave up. So how do you teach a person to never give up? You've got to put them in situations where they feel like they want to give up. That's one thing. Another thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that they understand the truth versus the lies. There were lies going on inside of James's head. Lies that he was no good, he couldn't do it, he was worthless, he was a failure, he kept saying. Those are just lies. Janelle knew they were lies, and so she declared the truth. Also, there was this lie in his head, I think, that if I have a problem, the only way to handle it is with a cigarette. And so when she asked him, well, what else do you do? He was like, I don't know. And then she brought out the truth. Do you give up? Then he had to say, yeah. I do. We've got to make sure that we ask the questions that need to be asked to expose the truth. Not in a way that's condemning, but in a way that's loving and understanding. When a person learns to give up, it's because they feel like they've got someone in their corner who's going to be there for them when they fail, but also is going to push them towards success no matter what. That's what a really good coach does. That's what Janelle did for James during this hard time. And that's what it really means to help a person never give up. I hope you've enjoyed this reaction video. There are many other reaction videos to other segments of this program of the World's Strictest Parents. Go find those. But I really think you're probably going to enjoy the next video that I have for you, which is called How to Teach Kids to Respect Their Parents. Find that video now and get on the road to creating more unified relationships where the people in your life feel empowered to conquer their problems.